Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Howdy Stallions, today we have a look at an ancient fighting style and a new village voice. Echele starts now. I'm Erin Fox and it is Tuesday, January 23rd, 2024. Today is National Pie Day. If Sir Lancelot was alive today, he might live in Colorado Springs. That would be the best shot at learning the art of the sword combat with a group of enthusiasts. John McMichael explains. This is a modern attempt to rediscover and rebuild lost medieval and renaissance fighting techniques. We study the techniques written down in manuscripts that were, you know, four, five, six hundred years ago. Then we practice those techniques through slow sparring, through controlled sparring, and through free sparring uh, like you see us doing today. This is the Black Falcon School of Arms. Well, we are a 501c3 educational nonprofit, and we consider ourselves a school because first and foremost, it's about teaching people these skills and, and then getting to apply them. And they practice what's known as HEMA. HEMA stands for Historical European Martial Arts. With practitioners all over the world, there's a number of different focuses. From, you know, LARPing with foam weapons all the way up to Armored Combat League, where it's two guys in a ring basically doing MMA, but they're holding swords. But here, we're kind of on that historical side. Which means the focus of practice and competitions is to get as close as possible to the original art. Whereas a lot of other hobbyists who, who look at sword fighting approach it from a slightly different way of either trying to recreate the culture first, or they'll use something that's a, a little bit heavier, a little bit meatier than an actual sword would have been, and it's a lot of it is about the, the flash and, and really trying to like smack each other and have fun, but there's not as much historical basis. It's a mix of uh, living archaeology, history, and a workout. Priority registration for all virtual SC is open for all grades and ends on January 24th. Applications are available in the office or for Ms. Reese. The High School Hollywood Homecoming Spirit Week is January 29th through January 2nd. Don't forget to follow the school's dress code. Monday is Movie Day, dress like your favorite movie character. Tuesday is Celebrity Day, dress like your favorite celebrity. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Don't be a mean girl and participate by wearing pink. Thursday will be a spirit day. There will be a pep rally in the gym recognizing the winter sports teams, as well as the homecoming court. Finally, Friday will be red carpet ready. Dress for your best and get ready for the homecoming dance that evening. Take a look at the upcoming Forest Creek Academy sports matchups. They're on your screen now. It's time to vote for your homecoming court. Please use the QR code on the screen to vote for the top five students for the homecoming court. The winner of the homecoming king queen will be announced at the halftime of the boys basketball game on February 1st. The prince and princess will be announced during the homecoming dance on Friday, February 2nd. The high school student council is hosting a Hollywood themed homecoming dance for all high school students on Friday, February 2nd from 7 to 10 p.m. in the middle and high school commons. Ticket prices are 15 for one and 25 for two. Must be paid in cash. We aired a village voice last week, but we didn't have school because of the weather. Here it is again. Mental health? Um, I would say it has a negative influence because just looking at, like, I guess other people, it kind of lowers your self-esteem, I would say. I think it impacts it a lot because people just want to look like someone else and they, like I said, they just want to fit in. Um, I think social media can have like positive and negative impacts. Um, ultimately, it's a tool and, you know, how we use it can depend, like how we use it affects um, whether we benefit or are hurt by it. I think it really depends on what people get into on social media, what they interact with, who they interact with, stuff like that. I think it has a negative influence because like 
cyberbullying stuff is really bad for people's mental health. Well, people like to lie a lot and stuff like that, so they're not very blatantly honest. So I think they just put on a facade. <laughs> uh, social media gives us an instant gratification when we have a like or someone shares something or comments on our post. But while it makes us happy for that one second, long term it has a negative effect. They think about how many followers they're going to gain or who's going to like their stuff or this and that and they care about other people's opinions way too much and they just get too lost in it. I don't know, you're worried about what everyone else is thinking about you. Um, ultimately, I think it's, it's up to us how, in how we use it, whether it benefits or hurts us. I think social media has taken us away from authentic, in-person, one-on-one relationships. And I think we're just now beginning to see the negative impacts it's going to have. <laughs>up today's show be sure to follow us on social media at horse creek media you can also subscribe to our youtube channel just search horse creek media reporting for ht today i'm aaron fox it's a good day to have a good day